How to manage slats or flaps jammed. Part 2. A320, Mentor Channel. Thank you, Jeremy, for reviewing the technical features of the flap and slat system. Flaps or slats usually become jammed when the pilot wants to change their position, as for example during takeoff or approach. Let's now look at an operational scenario with jammed flaps on Airbus A320 aircraft. Imagine a takeoff in Config 2. When the aircraft goes above the acceleration altitude, and the speed increases above F speed, the pilot flying will request the pilot monitoring to select flaps 1. When the pilot monitoring selects flap 1, the crew receives a flaps locked ECAM alert. The first action of the pilot flying will be to pull the speed knob to change from managed to selected speed. This action will stop the acceleration of the aircraft and avoid exceeding the maximum speed for the current slat flap configuration. Remember that the oral overspeed alert and the VLS displayed on the PFD are computed based on the real slat flap position. The VFV and the VFV next are displayed on the PFD according to the flap lever position. Before starting the ECAM actions, the flight crew will agree with ATC to stop the departure and establish a safe trajectory. Here, for example, a wide downwind heading and altitude are selected. When a safe trajectory is established, the pilot flying will ask the pilot monitoring to perform the ECAM actions. The first action line asks the pilot monitoring to confirm that the speed selected by the pilot flying is below the maximum speed for the flap slat configuration. In this case, the selected speed of 189 knots is sufficiently below the maximum speed of 215 knots. The two following action lines advise the crew to acknowledge that the fuel consumption is increased and that the FMS fuel predictions have become unreliable due to the jammed flaps. After clearing the ECAM caution, the pilot monitoring will perform the normal checklist and review the status page. The approach procedure advises the crew to use flaps lever position 3 for landing. The landing distance procedure applied indicates that the failure has an effect on the landing performance. For this calculation, the crew will use the landing performance module of the FlySmart software. After selecting the desired runway and the operational data, the crew needs to select the correct failure condition from the ECAM alerts table. The position at which the flaps are jammed needs to be deducted from the slat flap indicator on the upper ECAM. The FlySmart landing performance module will generate a flaps lever position for landing the VAPP and the factored landing distance for the failure condition. Remember that once the landing configuration is established, the VLS on the PFD considers the actual slat flap position. The calculated VAPP is based on the sum of the VRF without failure, the delta VRF and the approach correction. This VAPP should be just above the VLS when established in the final landing configuration. Now, the flight crew will make a situational assessment. In this case, the available landing distance in Toulouse is longer than the required factored landing distance, and the environmental conditions are suitable for a return to Toulouse. The flight crew decides to continue with this option. During the approach briefing, the crew reviews the landing with slats or flaps jammed curate procedure. Basically, this procedure is designed to configure the aircraft in a controlled manner. The speed is selected 5 knots below the VFE next 
and when the speed decelerated below the VFE next, the next flap lever position is selected. In the threat and error management part of the approach briefing, the following essential points should be considered. The energy management during the approach, because the aircraft will have less drag than normal. That the pitch during the approach requires increased tail strike awareness for certain slat flap configurations. That the use of the autopilot is restricted to 500 feet because it is not tuned for abnormal configurations. Another essential point in the briefing will be the configuration for go around and the maximum speed the aircraft can fly after the acceleration segment. In this scenario, the crew will remain in the circuit. The slat flap configuration will be maintained in case of go around and the recommended speed is 10 knots lower than the maximum speed for the configuration. This maximum speed is obtained from the EQH table. In this case, the recommended speed will be 190 knots. In some cases, the recommended speed for go around requested by the procedure may be slightly above the VFE displayed on the PFD. This is due to the fact that the VFE is linked to the slat flap lever position. The overspeed warning will not be triggered because it's taking account the real slat flap position. When ready for approach, the crew starts configuring the aircraft towards the final landing configuration. Because the angle of attack changes during turns, this configuration change is best achieved with wings level, to reduce the risk to activate the angle of attack protection. When the final landing configuration is established, the calculated VAPP from the FlySmart landing performance module is selected. This wind video was a revision of the philosophy of the flap lever and the different slat and flap positions. In the case of jamming of the slats or flaps, it is mandatory that the pilot flying immediately changes to a selected speed mode. This prevents the aircraft from automatically accelerating in the takeoff phase or decelerating in approach scenario. Carefully performed ECAM actions, solid situation awareness and a well-paced application of the landing with slats or flaps jammed curate procedure will ensure a safe approach and landing. We hope that you have enjoyed this presentation and we will see you again for the next one. A320 Mentor Channel